Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Brent Nicolation of Next Source Materials. How are you today? I'm fine, Tracy. I love your most recent news release. Your, this is your second feasibility study results. Can you give us an update? Yes, it is. So we uh, brought out a feasibility updated and we reduced our capital costs down to $18.4 million to build an entire graphite mine putting out 17,000 tons. And our original feasibility was close to $200 million for the CapEx. And for those of you out there that do not know the next source material story, this is one you should know because of your graphite. Can we just back you up and explain why you have such a competitive graphite flake? Well, we our project's called the Molo Project. It's in Madagascar, and Madagascar has been renowned for having one of the highest quality flakes in the world for, oh, decades. And Madagascar has been shipping graphite for over 100 years, and we happen to have a very high propensity of large flake and a very high purity flake. So there's fake graphite and there's real graphite. And we would argue this is the real graphite. Why? Well, all graphite's different. So it has to depend on what you're on the, on the actual project and where our project actually sits. We just were blessed with a very, very high purity graphite. So it's not the grade in the ground. It's actually the resulting product when you actually uh, do the flotation. We can get up to 98% purity just with standard flotation and we have a very large percentage of large flake almost 50 percent of our deposit is large and jumbo flake and of course if the graphite doesn't get you the numbers should the last results talk about the economics of this project and you've just mentioned that can you go back over that for us well what happened was we recognized very quickly from the 2015 original feasibility study the price of graphite has plummeted almost 40 percent so what do you have to do you have to adjust three levers it's either your operating cost your capital cost and you can't adjust the price of the graphite so we looked very hard at the capital cost reduced that to 18 million dollars and we did that through a modular approach and by doing that we actually reduced our operating costs versus a larger volume, which is, it seems counterintuitive. So we're very happy with those results. So this modular approach is fascinating to me. In fact, we had a, a, a board meeting in our team recently and we were actually discussing you. What is this modular approach that you're doing? Modular is not new to mining, but what's new to mining is no one's ever built a fully modular, 100% modular mine. So what we're doing is we're actually constructing the mine offsite using full modular approach. So everything is containerized in a 40 foot module. It's 40 modules for our mine. It gets assembled, it's tested for a month, it's dismantled, it's shipped to site, and then it's erected in 30 days with 20 people. And of course, the battery material market is heating up for the fall. What is going to make next source materials uh, exciting, say, for the next quarter or two? Well, it's a race to get to uh, production. And right now, we've shown the market that we can build this thing for under $20 million. The operating costs are in line with China, and that's the one you have to, and absolutely, that's the elephant in the room. You have to have operating costs that can compete with Chinese. And they actually using the true current price of graphite. We are not counting on electric vehicles. We are counting on the current market for graphite, which is steel. It's the traditional markets, and it's roughly $1,000 a ton. You'll see studies where people are using two, three thousand, seven thousand dollars $7,000 a ton. That will eventually be here, but that's not today if you're opening a mine. Well, thank you. As always, Brent, it is a pleasure. Thank you, Tracy. Nice to be here.